السلام عليكم بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم. Welcome, this is Ustaz Sufu, your PE teacher. I'm here today to give you some PE tips to get you back in shape. Cause you guys get out of shape because you just been sitting home eating, doing a little bit of homework, probably watching television, probably playing computer games, Fortnite. And good night and all that type of stuff, right? Anyway, we're gonna start with good exercise for everybody, but it's really focusing on the little guys. Pre K to second grade. Then we're gonna go from third grade to fifth grade. Then we're gonna go from sixth grade to eighth grade. And it's gonna get progressively a little tiny bit harder. But we're not gonna make it too hard because Ramadan is around the corner. I want you guys still to work out during Ramadan so you won't get fat and lazy and all out of shape. All right, so we're gonna get started. First of all, who wants to see me juggle these balls and balloons? Can't hear you. You do? Okay, great. Let's go. On. Three, maybe. one, two, three. Try it, let's get started. First exercise is for everyone from pre K3 all the way up to eighth grade. We're gonna start the same, but what's gonna happen? We're gonna take it pre K to do second. We can do like a few minutes with them. They can sit down and rest, move out of the way. Then the next grade is gonna be third to fifth. We're gonna look a little bit more intense, a little bit more, not a lot. And after that, we're gonna go from six to eighth. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit more intense. All right. Hope things get a workout. Get busy, get that blood flowing. What we normally do is to do assemblies in the morning. Remember that? All right. So let's go. We're gonna start off by marching in place. Ready, everybody? Let's go. One, two, one, two, three. Let's go, march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, when you follow me, follow me. What I'm doing, all right? You see what I'm doing? If I walk towards you, you walk back. If I walk back, you walk towards me. Got it? Ready? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now let's go. We march. Remember that? I march towards you. You march back. I march back. You march towards me. I march to the right. You march to the left. I march to the left. You march to the right. Get your left and right together. All right. This is my left. This is my right. This is your left. That's your right. Got it? Cause you're facing me. Remember that? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. We're marching in place. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, we're gonna get the arm swinging. Loosen up a little bit. Now you're just gonna swing. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Shake him down. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pick up the pace a little bit. Let the arm dangle down, losing them up. Left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, now we're sort of looking. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I know you little guys are loving this. You're enjoying this, right? Left, right, left. I bet your parents are going to enjoy this too because you burned up some of the energy. So you won't die in bonkers. Left, left, right, left, right, left. When I say give me your left, I want you to step out like this. Bang with your left foot. Got it? When I say give me your left, bang, somebody come right back. Got it? But don't step too hard, don't break the floor, okay? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Give me your left, step out. Your left, right, left. Give me your left. Step right, left, right, left, right, left. Give me your left, bang. Left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Give me your left, boom. Left, right, left, give me your left, bang. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Give me your left, left, your left. Keep going. Arms out. Come together and hear the call. Right hands to the front. Left, right, 
Left, right, left, right, left. Now you look guys, you're gonna keep on. Keep this pace. All the guys and girls, you can pick the pace a little bit about this fast, all right? Remember, it's gonna be doing Ramadan. We don't wanna burn up all your energy. We don't burn up all of your food. So keep this pace like this. Got it? Now little guys, pre-K, three, four, kindergarten, first grade. Now we're gonna start swimming. See if we can outswim the older kids. Ready? Swim while you're marching. Swim while you're marching. Swim while you're marching. Swim while you're marching. Swim, 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 swim. Let's march again. Hands down by the side. Keep marching. That's pretty decent swimming. Some of you guys swim, huh? Good swimming lessons. Keep his arms, hands loose, fingers loose, shoulders loose, neck loose. Get the head loose. No, don't get the head loose. Keep your head on your shoulders. Okay, now we're going to back, stroke, back, stroke, back, stroke, back, stroke, back, stroke. Everybody can do this. Even the parents can do this. Come on, kids. Call your parents in the room. Tell them to join in so they can get fit too. Shake those hands loose now. Keep marching. See my feet? It's still moving. Left, right, left, right. Your left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep those fingers shaking. Now your hands come like this. children of the world, come together Now watch your hands like this. You're going to just bite some little teeny tiny bit. You go right first, left, and right. While we're still marching though, try to keep it going now. Keep the coordination. Left, right, left, right. And alternate arms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. Good. My hands down. Now we're going to sing. Now we're going to alternate at a little faster pace. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. That's good. Now the next is going to be like this. We're going to pull it up here. Bang. Bang, bang, then bang, go. Okay, got it? Let's go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's good. That's pretty good, guys and girls. All right. Shake those fingers. I hope I still have your attention. How about you, Abdullah? Got your attention? Got your attention, Abdullah? All right, just checking to make sure. All right, parents. Are you exercising too? All right, good, good. Shake those arms loose, shake the legs loose, shake them, 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 I know it's a favorite, famous exercise for the pre-Kers. Pre-Kers. Pre-K-1, pre-K, pre-K-1, pre-K-3, pre-K-4. I'm going to show you a very secret, special, enlightening technique that they like to do. If I ask them to come up to class and show us an exercise, this is what they'll do. Watch this. I'm going to show it on my pace a little bit. Watch this. Very secret technique. Now watch. Watch. I'm going to move it slowly. Now watch what I do. I'm going out like this, and I say, show me exercise, pre-K, and you do like this. That's their exercise. Feels kind of good, though, but that's their exercise. That's what they do, and they like it. Some do push-ups. There are a few that can do one push-up. There's some kindergartens that can do push-ups. There's some second graders that can do push-ups, and so on. So what do we can do? Mountain climbers. Slow motion, mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, slow motion. Slow motion, mountain climbers. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, 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 up. Now march in the place again, left, right. Your left, right. Your left, right. Your left, right. Now it's gonna finish up for the little guys. For the pre-K, up to first grade, I have a challenge for you. Your challenge is, you're gonna take this one of these balloons, like this, hold it, hit it, hit it, hit it, and keep it in the air. Tell me times you hit it, keep it in the air without it falling on the floor. Using just your hands like this, right? Got it? And whoever does it the most gets surprised. Gets a prize. So what you have to do before the end of the week, 
You can have two classes of PE, right? The last PE class, after that, I want your parents to record you. Hit this balloon up in the air, keep it up in the air. Whoever does it the most is going to be the winner, and I'm going to mail you a prize, okay? The prize is going to be, don't tell your parents, it's going to be candy and a water bottle. Don't tell them, okay? Candy and water, that's your prize. You got to get it up, you got to really hard, work hard, work hard, get the balloon, keep it up there, keep it up there, keep it up there. Keep it up. Keep get close to the wall. You really keep it up, I guess, huh? Okay, but, but don't cheat. You can't hold it. And hit it. You gotta hit it. And hit it. And hit it. And hit it. And hit it. Got it? That's for the pre-K to the first grade. Alrighty? That's your class right now. So what you want, what I want you to do, if you can and will, tell your parents they can get in touch with me through WhatsApps. Let me know what exercise you want to see me do. You guys wanna lead it, okay? So if, don't forget. Bang, bang, pre-K to first grade. This is what you're going to be doing. Keep that ball in the air as many times as you can and film it. If you do 100, that's good. If you do 50, that's good. If you do 10, that's good. If you do 3, that's good. If you do 1, that's good. Do as many as you can, but get that work up. If you have to walk around and chase it in order to get it, that's good. No problem. It's good for you, all right? Pre-K to the first grade. That's what you're doing. Okay, next is going to be the second grade to the third grade. See you in a few seconds. Okay, second grade is turned now. A lot of second grade is, in the second grade class, a lot of my martial arts students. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. I want to make it a little bit more challenging for you guys, okay? We start off, we already got one. You did all, the original one, but then one else, right? By martial arts, that's good. You did all that. You saw the pre-K through first grade is doing the thing with the ball, keep the ball in here. This is what you're going to do to start. You already warmed up somewhat. But first, before we do that, we got a few guys in, the, in this class in second grade that kind of fast. And we're going we're gonna to drop a little bit fast because we got Ibrahim. We have what else we have in second grade that kind of fast. Who's, you say, who, who, who is it? Who's fast in second grade? Can't hear you. Leanne. Oh, Leanne is, that's right, Leanne is fast, you're right, you're right, you're right, Leanne is fast, so what we're going to do, we're going to do this first warm-up for Leanne and Ibrahim, because they're the fastest two in the school, but you got some other guys that come on right behind them, probably next year, they're going to probably be just as fast as anyone, maybe faster than those two, but right now, those two are the fastest ones, not in the world, but in their grade, okay, so now, this is for Ibrahim and Leanne, we're going to march in place with them faster, we're going to jog, we're not going to march, we're going to jog, jog, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So when I say go, shoot your arms up like that, bring it back. When I say go, shoot them up like that, then bring it back. When I say go, shoot them up like that, bring it down. When I say go, shoot them up like that, bring it down. Okay, got it? We're gonna do this for like 30 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, shoot them up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shoot them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, shoot them up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. You did. March in the place. Slow. Slow your heart rate down. Don't stop immediately. Slow the heart rate down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Now we're walking. 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 your mind. You guys just ran up and down the gym. Right for 30 seconds. Bang, bang. Back and forth. Up and down the gym or around the gym. Imagine your mind, that's what you were doing just now. Okay, good. Now we're warming down. Cooling down, warming down. Warming up, cooling down. Now we're cooling down. So also in the second grade, you got a few kids that can do real push-ups. Can do real push-ups. Okay, so we're gonna do three real push-ups. All right? I want everybody to do three real push-ups with me. If you can't do a real push-up, the body has to straight like a board, Bend your knees, get on your knees and do it, okay? First push up, we're gonna do three regular push ups, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. Now those can do a regular good push up, put those knees on the floor like this, and go like this. One, two, three. Great. That's the exercise. Bang. Okay, you did it. Do the X3 push ups, so you push the three modified push ups. Take those legs loose, arms loose, fingers loose, neck loose, get loose, get loose, get loose, everything loose. Oh. Good. Okay. Now, 
Before we get into something so we should do, we should do stretching. All my martial arts students, remember the stretching, right? We're gonna do some martial arts stretching right now. Real quick, only a few, for a few seconds. Let's get down. Get down to the butterfly position. Butterfly position is here, all right? So come up, squeeze your arms, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. All right, great. Now, figure four, left over right. Rotate the ankle, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, next figure four. So from the same figure, we're gonna come and touch your stomach. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. Five, good. Now next, in the figure four, coming up touching our heads. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Got it, good job. Okay, now, do the same exact thing on the other side, all right? Rotate ankle, touch stomach, and then touch head. Got it? Do that. Walking through so you to take a few seconds. Switch around, go up on the other side and do it. Only doing five. We're not doing like the regular classes now. Only doing five. We're keep it fun, short and sweet. Okay, great, good. Okay. Up and up, see. Shake your legs loose again. Shake everything loose again. Get loose, get loose, get loose. I wish you guys would really be running because I know you guys love to run, but you can only jog in place. Maybe if you guys have a big backyard or enough room in your backyard is separated from everyone else, you're not in that backyard to run. Like Leanne and Ibrahim do. Run, run as fast as they can. Run, 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 run. Do that, all right? Think about it. Give it a shot. Okay, now, finish with the exercise. Now we're going to do your challenge. Well, actually, before we do your time, we got another thing for you to do. Watch this. Be right back. I'm back. See this? We do a fake mix thing. All of you guys like to play soccer. Right? All oh, I think the whole class like to play soccer. But we're going to practice our soccer with this big giant ball. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Find a wall. Get the ball. You're going to take your foot and just hit the ball off the wall. Got to do it 10 times. And just switch sides. You can do it with the other foot. Are you ready? Bang, do that 10 times. That's a super workout. Get it? That's practicing your soccer skills. Okay. Now, everybody that watches this video, I want you to send me your name. Actually, send the names to the principal. And send it to him as an email. No, to actually send it to your teacher, your home teacher. Send her your name. Tell me that you watched the video. And that means you're eligible for the prize if you can do the challenge. The challenge for the little guy, remember, was the balloon? Now, the challenge will be for you guys is what? What should I do with you guys to be a challenge? How about we keep this ball in the air? All right? For your age group, you're going to keep this ball in the air. Keep it in the air. Okay. Do as many as you can. Who does the most? By the end of the week, get that prize. And what's the prize? That prize is a water bottle full of juicy, delicious candy. Delicious candy. You're going to get that water bottle filter like the kind used to give you guys. When you did the best behavior, you got all the tickets. Remember that? Some of you guys still have your water bottle. I know you don't have that candy. You ate all that candy. She probably ate the candy all the same day. Anyway, that's your challenge. This is for second grade, third grade. Yeah, second and third grade. That's what you got. Second and third grade. Bang. Got it? That's your challenge. Now, this is for fourth and fifth graders. This is for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to hit you with it, obviously, but this is what we're going to do. Imagine your mind, you're facing me. I'm going to swing at your head. What are you going to do if I swing at your head? Stand on your hip, boom. No, you're going to duck. And then I'm going to swing at your legs. You're going to jump. So it comes to your head, you duck. It comes to your legs, you jump. Got it? So I'll swing at your head, swing at your legs. So this way, duck, jump. Duck, jump. Got it? That's what I want you to do. That's your warm-up exercise, okay? Before you get into your challenge. Okay, all you fifth graders and fourth graders, boys and girls, those who think they're in shape, those who are not in shape, those who talk too much, those who don't talk too much, 
Those that listen in class and those that don't listen in class. Those that pay attention, those that don't pay attention. This is for all of you guys. So pay close attention right now. And I hope you do this exercise because you have the chance to win it. So win a prize, okay? If not in this class, you can even talk because I'm not here to tell you to tell you to be quiet, stop talking. Alright? You can talk now, but don't get so you can talk. Okay, I'm swinging at the head. Head, jump! Duck, jump, duck, jump, duck, jump, 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 I'm not going to make it hard. You're going to have to jump with your feet. This is what you're going to do. What you guys are going to do for exercise, I mean for a challenge, is the same as maybe the six, seven, and eight. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. We'll think about it. Let me think about it real quick. Okay. Now, this is going to gonna be your exercise. Here. Hey. You're going to try the final wall. And hit it off the wall like a volleyball. Bang. 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 See, as many you can do. All right, that might be too hard for you guys. We're not going to do that one. We'll do that later on in uh, the lessons, okay? We're going to do that. Instead, you're going to do it like this. Two hands. Bang. Two hands. hands. Got to be two hands. Boom. 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 Got it? That's your challenge. <coughs> That's your challenge. Got it? I want to see it. I want to see it in video. Have your parents videotape you doing it. If you think you have a chance to win, everyone has a chance to win. Do it. And the last time you're ready to do it, for real, let your parents videotape it. Send me the videotape, all right? And then I'll check it out and see who wins, okay? See who does the most. Okay, that's your class. Got it? Next is the six. Seven and eight. Be right back. Guess what your challenge is going to be? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, too. You guys can find these balloons at the Dollar Tree. So you can find them at the Dollar Tree. I'm not giving them any uh, props or anything like that or any business, but you know, they're going to get some business. So you get the balloons from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, a bag of 15 for one dollar. Can't beat that. All right. You can get one of these balls like this from Stop and Shop. I got this one, I think, from Stop and Shop. Stop and Shop, Big Y, one of those uh, grocery stores. Even a dollar store. They might have one this big. But it's got to be this big. See how big this is? This is like it's about, I don't know what the uh, circumference might be. Or even the diameter. Diameter might be like around 12 inches. All right. So figure out, okay, the, the diameter is 12 and you figure out what the circumference is, okay? And let me know. Make it extra prize now. Anyway, this is for 6th to 8th grade. We're going to warm up like this. We actually should be warm. We're going to exercise like this. We're going to do this. Bang. 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 See, my leg is crossing. And the ball crossed one direction. My leg goes one way. The ball goes here. I want you to do 10 of those. That's all. Then you're ready, right? This is what you have to do. This is all you have to do. Dribble. Dribble. Many, many times as you can, keep control of the ball. If the ball is wobbly like this, it's going to try to get away. Go somewhere over there. But you got to get it. Go get it. If it goes over there, you got to go get it and keep dribbling. As long as you dribble. If it stops some kind of way, make it, dribble, make it come up like you do basketball, right? It's really good workout and a good chance to test your skills. So some of you guys, or some of you boys, especially if you got the, if you got the basketball skills, like Rayan, you got the skills, right? I want to see you straight display your skills with a ball like this, not a basketball, but a big giant bouncy ball like this. So all you guys, Mahdi, Rayan, so hey, all you guys, think you can play basketball and uh. Got it? That's what I want you to do. So get started. Bounce. And you think you got it, you think you do as many as you can. Have your parents or your big brother, big sister, 
big somebody record you dribbling and controlling the ball. See as many dribbles you can, all right? Left hand, right hand, whatever hand. You can get fancy with it if you want, you have to get fancy. But let me know. All right? And so you guys need to play basketball. We got about the girls. Some girls need to play basketball too. I want you guys to dribble too. I want you girls to dribble. Dribble that ball, all right? See me videos, you got dribbling in that ball. You can get that same prize. All right? All right. That's it for today. This is your class for today. We're going to do this class. This is going to be going to do a rerun. Do whatever day you want to do it, but do it before Thursday. All right? Thursday, I want the video of you doing the techniques, doing the um, the challenge. See so who's going to win, okay? So you, you do this tape one day. You do the same one, the same taping the next day. If I say tape, I mean video. Same video. You do this video one day, you do Tuesday, for example, you do, and you do the next one Thursday. But the same exactly, you just play the same video over again, okay? Got it? Then you show me what you got. Show me what you have. You know what I'm saying? Show me your, your, um, your skills. Your dribble skills, your keeping in the air skills, whatever it is. Whatever your skills are that I'm asking you to do, show me that. That's your challenge. See if you can win. Get that prize waiting for you. All right, so next time, assalamu alaikum.